Hey guys, I'm back for my pregnancy update. I have joined these two weeks together, so it'll be week eight and week nine, currently in week 10. I didn't do an update on week eight because it was so similar to week seven. I'm like, it all just kind of like meshed into one. Yeah, I've kind of like been feeling the same anyway. A lot of nausea, sometimes in the morning, sometimes all day, sometimes in the afternoon, sometimes at night, like you can never tell I'm so unreliable. You just never know when it's going to come up. For example, this morning, um, I felt okay when I woke up and then went back to sleep for a bit. And, and then I got up to get Penny up and then I had some water and I probably drank too much. And then I felt sick. I had to have some water crackers and this is like 8.30 or something. <sighs> Thankfully water crackers saved the day like the other night we went to Dean's mum's for dinner I wasn't feeling too well before I went and Dean. Oh, this is gonna make me vomit. Dean was chopping up the dog food Because I can't do that <laughs> um, and then Oh, please don't make me feel sick. Please don't make me gag um, And then when I was like on the way out to the car I literally just gagged talking about it i was on the way out of the car got a whiff and i was dry reaching <sighs> like i just food just sits in my throat <laughs> it's just so inconvenient then when i was at dean's mum's i was sitting there and like dinner was cooking which is a big thing i think i mentioned that before i can't we like we can't cook because the smells just like, I can't deal with, they make me feel so sick. Um, so dinner was cooking and she had a candle going and I don't know if it was that or if it was the fact that I nearly threw up before or that I hadn't eaten in a while, but I felt like I was gonna vomit. And I was just like, do you, sorry, but do you have any water crackers? She found me some and I had a few and I she got me a can of Coke. And between that, thankfully, it went away. <laughs> it's just crazy. Some of these things I don't know if I mentioned last time, but it's just like, is this a conspiracy? Am I really pregnant? Because you have the first ultrasound and then you don't know anything. And some days you feel like your symptoms aren't like that's that strong. And you're left feeling like, like you might be just about to tell someone and you're like, oh, should I tell them? Like, am I even pregnant? <laughs> it's such a bizarre feeling. But the fact that I'm still sick, I still have symptoms like shortness of breast. My boobs are just really sore and I'm like a tummy sleeper and that's not been fun. Like I've had to like put my arms, my hands up, kind of sleep on my hands so I get dead dead arms um <laughs> uh, so which i will need to get a pregnancy pillow soon so that i can sleep on my side thankfully we have a king bed so there's enough room the cat won't like it but anyway the other things still a bit of shortness of breath it's not as bad as it was i edited my footage back from my first update oh my god i was so out of breath it was ridiculous and I still am a bit and sometimes it will just catch me off guard like I will get up and do something and I just have to sit there and be like <sighs> like it's crazy and what are some other things I've still had a, a few mood swings and I can stop my progesterone pessaries now that I'm at 10 weeks which is awesome oh my god I'm like sleeping through the night I haven't slept through the night like multiple nights in, I'm gonna say like well over a year like I could cry it makes me that happy there are some nights where I might like get up and go to the toilet but I'll just go straight back to sleep and it is oh it's life-changing like being able to sleep through the night if you can sleep through the night do not take it for granted so that makes me really happy but I have found I usually wake up around either like 5.30 or 6 when Dean usually gets up and then I'll go back to sleep for like another hour or so after he leaves, like from 7.30 to 8.30 or something like that. Because I just find that I need that bit of extra sleep and I have still been having naps or I've, it's been really annoying because I'm so tired and I try and have a nap and I can't fall asleep, which leaves me feeling tired and a bit grumpy all day because 
like you just you just have to sleep when your body tells you to sleep you just have to have a rest and sometimes I'm doing things like I was like this morning I got ready did my makeup and well, did my hair and then did my makeup and afterwards I'm just like oh I need a little bit of a rest because I just feel a bit nauseous and sometimes that's all it takes just like you know a good 10-15 minutes just sitting down and you feel a lot better. Today I actually have my test, my blood test, um, it's the NIPT test, so they test all the, where they actually, it's so fascinating how it works. Um, my obstetrician explained that by 10 weeks, the baby is shedding skin cells and those skin cells go into your blood and when they, and they can actually pull out all of the chromosomes and test. So then they can see if there's any abnormalities um, and they can also tell the gender, which is really exciting. Um, we will be finding out the gender, but we are going to do like a little gender reveal party. Um, I'm going to cry. <laughs> With all this crazy COVID stuff, I think it's from next week and you can then have 20 people at your home and... Um, This has got me as well, crying. That's a whole nother symptom. <laughs> just, you know, I cried in my last video too. Um, I think just because, you know, I'm just so... Uh, can I get through this, like, without any more interruptions? Far out. <laughs> Originally, um, you were only allowed to have five people at your house and now they're extending it to 20 people. And we were just going to have um, our parents... And you know that would be that would be fine as well if we if we had our parents, but now we have actually told a few more people that we are pregnant, and they are just over the moon for us. Like on the weekend, we made people cry. Like <laughs> it was um you know you don't realize because we've kind of moved past the excitement shock. Like yeah, we're still excited, but like when you tell people, like they're just so happy for us. <laughs> Oh my god stop <laughs> these are happy tears by the way i'm not sad at all it just makes me so happy that that we can do like a little gender reveal but it will more so just be like a celebration of the fact that it's happened for us because you know it might not have and we waited so long and I think that's why everyone's just so over the moon for us. The fact that it's finally happened and, you know, they're excited for us to be a mum and a dad. And, yeah, I'm just so, like, excited. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> why am I doing this? Anyway, so, you know, like, once we get those, those results back and everything... I'm going to ask them to obviously put the gender in an envelope and come and pick it up. And my friend's going to order the, the right colored poppers, um, online for me. And then like, I've been planning out, I've been planning balloons and I'm just so excited that we'll be able to have like a little get together with like our closest friends and our family, people that have really been there for us and, you know, help helped us make it through this really rough time and you know have been cheering us on to for it to finally happen yeah it's just makes me so happy that i will be able to share that with these people you know just like celebrate it <laughs> i know it seems so silly and i know like so many people are just like oh gender reveals are so silly but like when you've waited this long it's a big deal <laughs> And it won't matter like what gender the baby is like at all. It's just like something else to celebrate. It'll also, you know, be a, a bonding thing, like knowing the gender. A lot of people say that, that it helps them bond with their, you know, unborn baby. <laughs> wow, I just had a massive cry. <sighs> I wonder if I'll be able to get through one of these without crying. <laughs> I just watched someone else's update and I don't think that she's cried in any of them <laughs> so yeah hello that was just Dean's mom calling to say that she bought a car seat and it was on sale <laughs> she is just so excited like ridiculously excited so we've got 
uh, Dean's grandma and Dean's sister going around to Dean's mum's place today and we're going to tell them today. Um, I didn't realise that Dean's grandma was going because we were going to go to hers on Sunday and tell her. But yeah, it feels, I feel more confident that we're waiting, that we've waited to tell people as well. Like, of course, we wanted to shout it from the rooftops as soon as we found out. But it was nice to just hold on to that little secret just between us. But now we've pretty much told everyone that we need to. I just need to take a photo to send my sister because she lives in Adelaide. Yeah. Oh, and then I've got a friend that I want to tell on the weekend. Um, she lives in Melbourne. So we'll just... And she's moved to a new place. So I'm like, oh, we're just, you know, wanting to come and check out the new place. <laughs> And she's like a mad friends fan. So um, I've actually, I'm gonna do the wine bottle thing again, but I saw like a friend's idea that says, um, the one when your friend is pregnant, but I'll just say it, the one where Crystal is pregnant and like do it in friends font and with the little colored things. I think she'll really like that. I'll be like, here's a housewarming present. <laughs> really, it's, it is really exciting telling people. And um, I went and told my friend the other day and I was at her house. And I was there for probably like 20 minutes, half an hour. And she's like, oh yes, it was, we're finally like sitting down somewhere. She's like, so how have you been going? And I'm like, well, I've been having a lot of morning sickness because I'm pregnant. And she's like, what? Why didn't you tell me when you first came in? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Like, it's hard to say. It's hard to like just bring up. But I think like when we go today, we'll just... Oh, and the, <laughs> the other day we told, um, we went over to Dean's friend's house and him and his wife have like a two and a half year old and Dean actually went the night before because it was his friend's birthday and they like just watched a movie, had pizza, beers kind of thing and then we went around the next day and Brett's like, oh, what are you guys doing here? And we're like, oh, we're just looking at a block. We're going to look at building again. And he's like, oh, really? Like, he was really excited because he lives on the outside of town. And he was just so excited. And he's like, oh, sh so where's the block? And I, like, had a screenshot of a block that my friend was looking at. And I showed him. He's like, oh, yeah, you know, like, it's a bit undulating there. Have you had a look? Like, what's it like? And I'm like, oh, no, we're going to go after this. And we're waiting for his wife to finish doing the laundry and, like, get changed because she was in pyjamas. And then she came out and... He was like, oh, Pete, they're going to buy a block. Dean's like, we're not buying a block, mate. And they were just like, what? And I'm like, because I'm pregnant. <laughs> and they both just started crying. Well, Brett had a few tears, but Pete was just, she was crying. And yeah, it was just really special. Like it just took us by surprise how happy people can be for us. Um, but yeah, like it was funny how we had to make up the story until like, because we wanted to tell them together in the same room. And yeah, it was really, really cute. <laughs> but all in all, I'm feeling good. I'm in good spirits, apart from a few mood swings and emotional outbursts. <laughs> yeah, very excited to find out the gender in a couple of weeks. Yeah, celebrate and then eventually tell the world. I don't know when we'll announce like, you know, I don't have Facebook, so I like I'll put obviously it on my Instagram and I've got videos <laughs> ready to come out, which is exciting. Although I think I wanted to just uh, like play with some music. Um, I've edited them, but yeah, put some music behind them. But I'm thinking maybe like, I don't know when we're 15, 16 weeks along or something like that. Like I don't feel the need to announce it straight away. And especially with COVID, like I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to see anyone. Um, the only thing is like I haven't been filming any content apart from these videos and I haven't been really editing and I've just been enjoying being pregnant and having nausea all day. <laughs> Living my pregnant life for now. So that's it for weeks eight and nine and a little bit of 10 update. Yes, I will see you next week to give you a week 10 roundup. I'm just so excited. I know you guys are just going to lose it when I tell you. Like, I know you guys are going to be so happy. I just have to figure out, like, the best way to tell you as well, like, what kind of photo to do. Maybe, like, we'll take one at the gender reveal and do it there. Like, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, I will see you next time. Bye.